talk with Chris Wheeler and everything regarding this. And it's, it's, were you on that conversation? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Brian, you were, you were on that conversation. The, the conversation went that we were going back to try to get the ex, to get the soonest date on the filing and correcting the provisional to encompass all of these things since we... Well, you can't correct the provisional, but you can... What it does is it claims back for everything that, that references back to the original, but then incorporates all the new uh, uh, elements which... Uh, to bring it in, to make make it into a more uh, complete statement. I'm not sure I understand this. Um, it was my understanding that we were going back to Ray Joe's patent and fixing it by inserting what we have here. When I talked to Doug, that was what he's under the impression we were going to do, and now that's all changed as of today. Well, you really can't fix a provisional application. But Not the provisional, the Ray Joe filing of August, whatever, whatever day it was. No, it was set, oh, no, it's in March. Right. March 24th. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that way, if that patent gets approved with all this in it, that's what we were doing, and we wanted that one to be approved first correctly because it obviously expedites our life by a long way. This is the PCT application filed March 23rd, is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Well, but, uh, but the way that I recall the conversation, uh, the, spec, the spec, of course, uh, cannot be changed. Right. But the claims can be. Right. And they can be changed so long as they're supported by teachings that are in that specification. Right. Which is why you really, I mean, you... And the specification can't change? No. Right. Why? Because it would be kind of like... Um, I thought that was based on new matter. Well, exactly. That's exactly why it can't be changed. But so it can be changed if it's still the same matter. The claims can be amended so long as they're still fully supported by the matter that's in the specification as originally filed. Now, if you want to change your claims and they're not supported by the specification as originally filed, then you have to file a whole new application adding new matter to your specification that will support those claims. So the fact that a direct interpretation of what it general amounts to typos and oversights, uh, but a direct interpretation of that affect our ability to, um, or to change that supporting matter of that matter. Because um, if we directly interpret the, the matter in the certain circumstances here, it will draw, it will bring you to a wrong conclusion if it's a direct interpretation without having to reverse engineer what was meant to occur. Well, I see. There's no need to get math right, but it doesn't affect. It doesn't affect our priority. Yeah, only by a few days, essentially. I mean, if we well, do we lose the ability to claim priority to what we were trying to to claim to? No. By that date, so you can go back in and change the matter of this. Well, you don't go back and change the matter. You just file a new application which claims priority back to a prior application only for the subject well, matter that was... But well, we missed that application. No, we've got it we've in the form of this continuation, or this uh, PCT that we filed, claiming priority back to that patent application. So we preserved that chain of priority. Are you then completely confident that errors that we need to correct right now are then not going to hurt us in any way, shape, or form of being able to claim as part of our invention all the correct things that we wanted. Well, that's, what, that's what I heard at that meeting, that, that we could go back and, and redo that at a later date without having any implication. As long as it wasn't new subject matter. Exactly right. These are just corrections to the... So they're either corrections, they're math, or whatever. Okay, but it's not, we're not saying this is a new way to get to this. No. Okay, that's what I heard. That's the notes I took. Uh, Elliot, you should have that on a tape recorder so that we know that. Well, we do. You know, that would also support, I think, another issue, which is that we now have to go through the, the refiling of something else, which was originally corrected several days ago and was somehow ignored so that this whole refiling shouldn't even cost us anything. Well, and 
and beyond that, Doug, what I'd like to really get down to is a letter from you um, in writing explaining all of my, you know, both from the Ray Joa patent forward, and I think uh, you need to talk to Doug about it, of what our potential pitfalls are here with this filing years, what our potential pitfalls are, what, what it caused to happen, what that priority, priority, priority equals, and if there's any harm to us. Because we keep just slipping back by these things. This should have been right. I mean, we have we have well documented, and Brian's well documented um, that these changes were sent, and now we've missed a priority claim to that by not being able to go back and change our our last filing. Brian, I need to know the liability here from us. You know, I wasn't obviously there Wednesday night, Brian. Doug on this and make final changes and then... Yeah, I, uh, Doug sent me a uh, next to last copy, uh, which I went through, and there were a number of errors. I have my notes on those, uh, each one of those at home. And, uh, uh, and then uh, I reviewed each one of those with Doug, uh, agreed on what they were, and, uh, and then Doug was was going to uh, send me uh, the last copy, which uh, apparently he didn't, uh, because I never received it. Uh, and uh, and at that point in time, it was about, uh, my guess is about 11.30, uh, 11.45 our time. And these were also discussed in great length with him for a whole day on the phone. Yeah, well, how about in the, in the lawyer, in the... Uh, no, no, Dad, this is separate. Oh. But uh, at great length, this was discussed, every one of these changes. Oh, is that the changes you sent me here? Is, yeah. that, is, is this Brian's handwriting? Uh, oh. No, no, uh, uh, some of it isn't, uh, isn't correct. Uh, well, let's go through it, because I'd like to have yeah, Let's go through it. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know if that's going to help that much, because it's a question of... Uh, you know, what actually was filed and whether it incorporated the changes that Brian asked in the last minute. It didn't. It we're, didn't. We know that. This yeah. is what was filed. All right. I thought, Brian, didn't you just say that Doug didn't send you the final draft of what was filed? No, the next day. Oh, he sent it the next day. Yeah, Jim, can you forward that to Steve real quick? What? Email it to him, the final draft. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to question. Okay, but we need to go through and get the changes acknowledged, accepted, have you put it into the next whatever you're going to do to solve this with a letter explaining what we've lost here. All right. Okay. Any liability, potential liability we're exposed to from this. Oh, I, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you're making it much Well, you know, i got to tell you, I worry a lot about it from what Doug told us. Yeah. So you know what I mean? You tell me not to worry, but then you tell me it's very important that we're accurate in this filing, and then we're very inaccurate in the filing, and then we're not supposed to worry. Yeah. So I'll feel much better not worrying with a letter from you explaining why I shouldn't worry. Hey, what's your email? Uh, S. Becker at Foley Law, F-O-L-E-W, or F-O-L-E-Y, L-A-W. Dot com. S. Becker. Yeah, S is Steven. S. Becker. B E C K E R. Got it. Great. Okay. okay. And let's just go through this with you, Steve, so we can get the next step done. All right. Which is correcting uh, the issues. So, uh, are you with us on page uh, 13? Great. Okay. Jim? On page 13, line 19, the uh, uh, expression of VH, VWH, GF, all the way we express it in our definitions, which is VIH. Okay. So even though the two are equal, it should follow the way that we have it expressed in our definitions on page 12. Oh, I see. Okay. 
demand divided by five. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me look. Scan density is... Where's the rest of my path? Defined by us as being... Okay, walk here. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's right up above. Target image height, right up above on line seven. Minimum, maximum scan density is target image height, which in this case we've just defined to be 1431. Where are you reading from? Line 7 of the same page. Uh. <coughs> Line 7, page 13. So target image height is 1431, divided by the source image height, which is 4. So it should be 1431 divided by 4. Well, uh, the... Uh uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I guess that uh, that equation, MSD equals TIH slash SIH, was, uh, did not come from my documentation. Hold on, let's look at your documentation. I've got it right here, too. Well, I'm Doug, you, or Steve, you have copies of this, too, they were sent to you. Right. Of what Brian's looking at several days ago. So how isn't this stuff flowing forward into the patents? And, and especially when we pointed it out two times before filing. I mean, I'm just dumbfounded at this. Uh, well, there was uh, there was a change, uh, Steve, which you were not involved. That is the proper equation. Uh, Steve, there's a change. I wasn't there the last night when the last changes were put in, so I can't really speak to it. Yeah. No, but he sent you his changes several days ago. Uh, Steve, there was a change that uh, we decided on uh, on uh, Wednesday afternoon, which was to reflect aspect ratio as width divided by height, which uh, which I uh, made and. And, uh, and that was created by the desire to reflect aspect ratio the way that displays are, are, uh, uh, are uh, expressed as opposed to the way photographic images are expressed. Photographic images are expressed the opposite way, and that's the way the documentation uh, had been originally prepared. But it was felt that it was uh, perhaps uh, more consistent with current technology to express it the way that, that uh, displays are expressed. So I went through and changed. Coming from that, that change in the convention? Yes. Right. So that, that caused the equations to be reconstructed to reflect the, uh, uh, the inverse of what was there before because the aspect ratio now is inverted. I see. Uh, and, uh, and, and what happened was Doug apparently did not pick up all of those changes, even though I went through them uh, very methodically uh, uh, last thing Wednesday night after he sent me his, uh, his uh, almost final draft. I see. Uh, and uh, Jim, just, just 